The diagram represents the position of particles before a progressive wave passes and as the progressive wave passes. This is before the wave passes through, this is as the wave passes through. On the axes below, draw the corresponding graph of displacement against original particle position and label the wavelength. So what I'll do to start with, with this question, is draw lines connecting these particles. Now it should be hopefully much easier to see how the particles have been displaced as this wave has passed through. So we can see that the particle over here is in the same position that it was before the wave passed through. Same here, and here, here, and here. So all of those points correspond to, on the graph, points of zero displacement. So I'll just draw some vertical lines down. So all of these points correspond to points of zero displacement. And then if we look at the particles, let's look at the particles over here. All of these particles are shifted towards the left. And you can see that they're shifted towards the left the most in the middle. So these particles here are the ones that are shifted most towards the left. They're shifted less so over here, less so over here, the most in the middle. These particles here are shifted towards the right. And again, they're shifted the most towards the right over here. So we have a negative displacement if we consider towards the right as positive displacement, towards the left as negative displacement. Here we have a negative displacement, here it's positive, back to negative, back to positive. So this will be a negative sine curve. We'll have peaks over here and here, and then we will have troughs over here and here approximately. And then we can just connect it up and that will be our graph. The wavelength will be up to here. So this will be one full wavelength. And then for part B, suggest what type of progressive wave could be represented by the diagram. This is a longitudinal wave passing through particles. The particles are moving back and forth. Their displacements are parallel to the direction of energy propagation. Energy is transferring this way. So a longitudinal wave, an example of a longitudinal wave, is a sound wave.